Fly fishing is visual. It's all about what the fly does on the water. The fish have no idea how it got there. You might have the ugliest cast in the world. There's something pretty special about watching a trout rise. Just sitting there. You can just sit in the bank and watch a trout. My life has kind of continued the same way as my life at Gustavus. You know, I, I played sports. Uh, I was in the symphony. Ended up as a political science major. It gave me the opportunity to do kind of all sorts of stuff. One of the coolest things about Gustavus is I went to Ecuador. Went to the Galapagos, went to the rainforest. That gave me a, quite a travel bug. Apparently had a real effect on my life because I've continued to do that. Outfitting or doing conservation work, there's got to be a benefit to the result. You got to do it you gotta have purpose. So in Mongolia we're doing, we're mapping the genetic populations of the fish in these watersheds. What that data shows us is that each watershed's important. These fish have been isolated from one another for millions of years now. When I grew up, you catch a fish and just keep it. I probably wouldn't even think about whether that was legal or if I had the right number of hooks on my line or whatever. So Mongolia is very well regulated in terms of what legal fishing is. A lot of people just come out and fish, could be locals, could be foreigners or whatever, and are unaware. And so we, we tackled that. Catch and release fishing has grown in Mongolia like unbelievably. My name's Charlie Khan and I'm Augusti. Make your life count.